This is Bill from BetQL. Today we're going to look at the game matchups page on the BetQL mobile app. The game matchups page will show you a high level overview of each game and to access it we're going to start on the games tab. I'll open up the game matchups page for Colorado versus Washington by simply clicking on the game from this view. And the first thing we see towards the top is the same information that was displayed on the last page. Uh, we see the game time, the rating that BetQL is assigning to this game, uh, along with the current line. Moving down the page, we see the top trends that apply to this game. The top spread trend is a 3.5 star situational trend, uh, saying Colorado is 2-16 and in July games this season. The top money line trend says the Rockies are 0-8 versus NL teams, allowing 4.5 or more runs per game in the second half of the season this year. Scrolling down, we can see the current and opening line, along with the amount of betting tickets on each side, which is under the public column. And then you can see a visual representation of the line's movement from open to current below that. So again, Colorado opened plus 255, currently they're plus 265, and you can see the path that the line took uh, between those two points on the graph. You can open up this calculator section. If the line being offered at your sports book differs from the line being offered uh, in our app and you want to calculate your return, Let's say that my sports book is listing Colorado plus 270 instead of plus 265. And you can see that the amount to bet and to win update once I plug that new line in here. Going back into the game matchups page, the next section is starting pitchers and then an overall team summary. You see the team's managers along with their to-date uh, statistics for runs scored, runs allowed, home runs for, home runs allowed. Next, we show you the team's lineups. Uh, once a team has confirmed their lineup, we'll list it here. You can see Colorado has already confirmed their lineup for today while we're still waiting on Washington at this juncture. By clicking on the notepad icon to the right of each player's name, you can see the most recent news item for that player. Next, we have an injury section. We'll show you the top two most significant injuries for each team by default, and you can expand that for each team. And if you click on read more, that will give you the latest update that we've received for each player. Finally, we have a team schedule and results section where you can view the team's year-to-date performance. Uh, and the last thing to mention about this view is the quick navigation at the top where I can quickly jump back and forth between the various sections we've already discussed. So that's a high-level view of our game matchups page. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for joining me today, and good luck.